when you are swing trading you need to be careful about not getting death by thousand cuts if you have a setup and that setup works under certain market conditions and then the market conditions change and if you continue to very aggressively keep trading that particular setup many times what happens is series of small losses then they add up and quickly by the time you realize that the market has changed uh, you get big drawdowns so in order to do this always remember that any setup which you are going to be trading if you are especially if you are going to be trading setups like anticipation or breakouts they are extremely vulnerable to underlying buying selling pressure in the market like two weeks for last two weeks there was very high buying pressure in the market because there was very high buying pressure in the market a lot of stocks made big moves like if you see around in the last 10 days if i want to show you here on telechart you will see that in last 10 days around uh, so here stocks which made 20% move in the last 10 days if you look at that you had around 534 35 stocks which made 20% move if you are looking at like say looking at 30% move and you make this 30% in just 10 days you will see that there are 222 stocks which made that kind of a 30% move in just last 10 days right or even if you want to give be more explosive and look at stocks making 50% move in last 10 days you had around 44 stocks and during that time period if you were aggressive then you made money but in the last two or three days the market became stalled and because the market stalled you will see that in the last two or three days many of the stocks are breaking out but after that they are either reversing or they are not doing anything now this kind of a market conditions uh, can really lead to a lot of trades you put in and they don't go anywhere or they stop you out and as a result of that you can have death by thousand cuts. So in order to avoid death by thousand cuts you have to always be looking at what is the underlying buying and selling pressure in the market. One of the ways in which I look at that is the market monitor which I use in the market monitor numbers if you look at it you will see that whether there is a buying or selling pressure so today 185 stocks were up and 203 stocks were uh, down right a 4% plus so it tells you the underlying and if you look at like uh, the if you go to my site you will see that uh, on my public blog I publish this information daily now that tells you underlying buying coming or not coming in the market and that can help you in deciding whether to be aggressive or less aggressive like I've been like an, uh, uh, the other way you can know also is when you put in a trade and they stop working or they just stall then you know if you look at a next trade when you're putting in you want to be very cautious and this is what started happening in the last two or three days of trading where a lot of good breakouts which I bought personally they just stalled they didn't hit my stop but they didn't go anywhere and typically the breakouts which I try and enter they immediately have a follow through so that gave me an indication that this stock or this market is becoming more choppier or the buying which came in has stalled out and that you can as a result of that what happens is that I reduced my position sizing, I reduced my, here there's a lot of buying came in, right? And now you will see on individual stocks, a lot of them are breaking out, but after that, they're not necessarily making any moves, right? And they're just going uh, there or AVGO, uh, little bit of a follow through, not much of a follow through. And this is happening on a lot of stocks versus what was happening when stocks were just going up like crazy, immediate follow through and they were going up or Tesla kind of things where they were going up on many stocks now that is not happening as much as what it was happening a couple of days ago so this ability to read the market and what is called as situational awareness 
and daily look at it is important if you want to improve your win rate and don't get death by thousand cuts.